Hello, and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thanks, it means a lot. Today we're going to talk about mounting a television in a travel trailer, um, and particularly what we're going to use to get it in. There's only certain spots in the trailers where you can put them, and they're usually marked, sometimes they're not, but I believe they're all marked nowadays. So we'll take a look at the back of the TV now, and whatever system you're going to use, to mount your television, I would suggest using some type of Loctite on the screws because going down the road, you don't know if this thing's gonna vibrate free and then you don't wanna have to check it every time you stop at your destination or bring the trailer back. Um, so yeah, a little bit of Loctite goes a long way and it helps. So when finding out where you wanna mount your television, we're gonna definitely wanna get a stud finder because there could be some electrical wiring back there or you could miss and just poke a hole in the wall. So I got a standard stud finder here and we'll calibrate it to zero. And now as we come across, we'll see right where the sticker is, where the manufacturer put the sticker, there's a stud. And that runs the whole length up and down. So that's where you can put your TV mount bracket. And then I wanna show you if we go a little further we got some electrical wire back there. So that's why you always want to have a stud finder because if you go in there with a screw, you'll end up getting electrocuted. And back here, right where the sticker is, there's a stud. So go ahead and use whatever template the manufacturer includes with the bracket. You'll need a drill bit, various screwdrivers. Um, this one has a swivel base and a swivel neck, so it's, it articulates. That's the kind that you want to use for the trailer. And the mounting area has a swivel bottom in case you mount it crooked. Um, typical what guys do, we won't use any levels. And we'll mount it and it'll be two inches off to the right or left. So at least this one compensates for that. And I'm not going to use a level, so we'll see how it turns out. This is the brand mount that we decided to use. It's a full motion, 13 to 40 inch came with a HDMI cable. Okay, we got the bracket mounted to the wall. We had drilled two pilot holes and put in the lag screws that were included with the kit. When you go in, you don't want to go all the way and like crank it down. Go in until you feel it's tight. You know, it's, it's a feel type thing and it's on there. So put the cover back on and snap the cover back on and this is a multi articulating head it comes out folds in and swings up and down this is going to be the best view for the um, travel trailer for everybody to get it and we'll push the TV back in and show it stowed away all right the TV stowed away in the stow position uh, each manufacturer manufacturer of the brackets are going to be different so make sure it's tightened down and the safety screws are in so that the TV does not come flying off the wall when you're traveling down the road. And there it is. Simple, easy installation. You see it pulls out, swings, it tilts up and down so everybody can get a view. And that's really it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.